Good morning. Today I'm going to demonstrate overhead squats and overhead lunges. Both can be used as change-ups for regular squats or lunges that you might be doing at home. The value with doing them overhead, and I'll demonstrate it in just a minute, is when you hold a weight over your head, it can be anything from a broomstick to a couple of hand weights, you know, one, two pound dumbbells to a barbell. When you hold the weight overhead in a fixed position for a long period of time, that is 10 or 12 or however many repetitions you're doing, you develop strength in the deltoids and the upper back and shoulders uh, that translates very well to strength in everyday life. So yes, you're doing a squat or, your lun or a lunge for your lower body and for your core, but while you're doing it, you're also improving the strength uh, in a practical way for your upper body. I'm gonna demonstrate an overhead squat first. I'm gonna take a bar, not very heavy, just a five pound weight on either side. I'm going to stand with my feet wider than shoulder width. My weight is on my heels and the bar is going to remain over my head and align directly over the hips the entire time. So the bar is up here. It's not out here and it's not way, way back here. It's in a line directly over the hips. The weight is on the heels. The feet are wider than shoulder width. You're going to go down slowly and breathe in on the way down to a complete stop. Breathe in. Complete stop. Exhale as you come up. Take a secondary breath or two at the top. Breathe in. Stop. Exhale as you come up. Again, the bar remains overhead the entire time. You can do the same thing with a lunge. I'm going to demonstrate that with just a broomstick or a dowel that I bought at the local hardware store. Again, my hands are going to be wider than shoulder width. With a lunge, you're going to start with your feet together. The bar remains overhead and aligned directly over your hips the entire time. Step out, stop. Breathe in. Slow, pause. Exhale as you come up, stop. Step back. Step out, stop. Straight down, breathe in. Step up, stop. Step back. Again, the bar remains overhead the entire time. As far as depth of squat and depth of lunge go, the only thing I'll say is that range of motion is the same thing as flexibility. So the deeper you're able to go, the more flexible you become in the knee joints, the hip joints and the musculature, but that should always be dictated by any knee or low back pain. So go as deep as you're comfortable going, so long as you're not putting undue stress on the knees or the hip joints. Overhead squats and overhead lunges. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be back again tomorrow.